Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. We're going to be looking at what you may not be expecting to happen from now until the 20th of this month. So let's get it popping. If you are new, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're not already. And if you want a personal, make sure you check out the description. All right, Taurus. And we're going to be using my astrology deck today. I'm only going to be pulling four of these cards because these cards are very detailed. Um, so let's see. Taurus, what are they not expecting to happen from now until the 20th of this month? Okay, so four cards is good. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So the first one we have is moon. And with the moon card, this is, we talk about the soul. Okay, so um, the first thing you may not be expecting to happen Somebody's true colors may get revealed to you randomly like this is you having a conversation with them and then they could just be like, you know, when you're just having reminiscent conversations with people and then they say things and it lets you really get in on their character. So somebody's true character may be revealed like they may be letting you know of just experiences they may have had in dating and how a lot of the experiences may have stemmed from, you know, them possibly doing things to cause issues as far as like cheating or just being a player in their past. And this may be causing you to have a little bit of um, worry in regards to whether or not you could actually deal with them. Um, okay. You guys also may be having like some interesting, Hmm. interesting sleep patterns you may find that at night like you just really can't go to sleep for some reason this may be insomnia on like a thousand um, and this may be very much because your mind is just all over the place um, you also may find yourself being just randomly moody or just not wanting to be bothered and again this could be because you're feeling restless in a sense so make sure that you're not staying up all types of times of the night there also may be like a betrayal that comes out okay you may be confronting your person about that for my men out there you may be having some female issues okay and for some of my females you may have female issues in the terms of like female issues like making sure that your lady bits down there now this is not for everybody okay just take what messages apply to you and let the rest fly but some of you may have that um situation going on you need to take care of yourself okay and you don't even have to comment about it but yes and then some of you it may not be like lady issues per se but it may be like something with the abdominal area Hmm. Some of you guys may see some spirits or ghosts in your house. Okay, not to creep any of you guys out. Okay, but moving on to the next card, we have the void, of course, moon. And this is represented by that missing energy. So the void is actually, I don't want to say this is my favorite card, but the void itself, the concept of the void is is deep to me I, I fuck with the void because the void is interesting. This is an opportunity to create out of a space of something being missing. Like this is an empty space in which you can create. Okay. But yeah, this is just basically energy that could be used to your benefit when I say that. Um, but okay. So random things that may happen, which you may not be expecting to happen. Um, there may be weather issues or just random weather problems wherever you live, whether that's like it just randomly getting cold or randomly raining really bad or randomly being extremely hot. This is weather issues. Um, there may be delays as well with like packages or mail. Mm, delays in communication as well. 
You guys also may be feeling like something's missing in terms of like somebody who you're dating, like them just acting really distant and weird. Okay. Some of you be, may be being really hard on yourself about some bad decisions or mistakes you may have met, uh, made. Um, there's no need for you to be hard on yourself per se. You just need to fix it. <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. Okay. Hmm. Some of you guys may have like a medical procedure canceled. Um, and this may be for the right reason. Like some of you guys may have like high blood pressure or something like that. And that's why they have to cancel it. But hmm. now the last card or not last card, we have the South node here. Yeah. So we have the South node. So with the South node, this is karmic debt. This is debt that you're basically having to pay back in this lifetime. So with karmic debt or the South node as a whole, this is you needing to break out of certain patterns. And this lifetime is going to be teaching you about that. So that's what the South node represents. Um, and this could also be counted almost as like the 10 of swords in the tarot deck, if you really think about it, but there may be some sort of shocking loss. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I sometimes I hate doing these readings because they always like bring up stuff like unexpected things, but there may be some sort of shocking loss, like to a grandparent or something. And I'm only really speaking to the people who've already been kind of like suspecting that that's like the time would be soon. Some of you might have moments of just like slipping into just like seasonal depression, but this isn't long lasting. Like I said, seasonal, um, and it may be very brief. There may be like some sort of like random wake up call that comes through too. Like this may be you like, again, going through a karmic situation during this time frame, and it's supposed to be more of a wake up call than anything. Yeah, there's definitely going to also be um, an emphasis on like unresolved issues and, and letting go. But the last card I want to talk about, we do have the second house here. And this is about what you own, basically. This is going to be about... where where's your financial standing what do you own is it yours <laughs> can it be taken like that type of thing but with the second house um what you may not be expecting to happen some of you may be actually in a position to where you can afford to go get a car it may not be the most luxurious car and for some of you it may be but this is you finally being able to go get a car or to go make a big purchase okay um, some of you also may be getting approved for your first credit card or finally able to get something off your credit that's been stuck there for a long time. Some of you also may be getting into real estate or passing your real estate exam. Possibly getting into cosmetics or like selling luxury items. So this could be like working for like a Gucci store, like getting hired there or something like that. Some of you may be making your first de um, designer purchase. I know this is like random, but we're talking about the second house, right? During this time frame, you're also going to have somebody who's just very stubborn or fixated on having their way. Some of you also may be getting into like culinary arts or something like that, or finally getting into culinary arts school. But I'm going to stop right here. I hope that you enjoyed this reading in some sort of way. I know this was like a lot of information. Only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. Um, but thank you for watching this. If you did enjoy it, thumbs it up. Subscribe. Check out the description below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.